Good morning, everybody. It's One Great Vacation. Day two of our trip. We're in Oregon. We're starting out at this Comfort Inn. This is where we spent the night last night. So stay tuned. We got a big day ahead. We're going to do a little driving up the coast. We're going to take some pictures of some great waterfalls and end at the Bridge of the Gods today. So come along for the ride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play What's Out My Window! Okay guys, I want to show you something this morning. I looked out our window. Here's our beautiful view. Hmm. Well, we did say this is family vacations on a budget, right? Not exactly the south of France. But, hey, if you look way over there and up top, you can see mountains. We are no longer in Texas. It's a glorious morning. All right, quick tip for you. If you're on a deal, go to Walmart. They have deli sandwiches. They have crackers, cheese, and all of that. Makes for a quick meal. You can get in, get out. They have all the condiments and everything for it. And then you've got your food for the hike. Okay, so we made it. Our first stop to the day is the Portland Women's Forum State Scenic Viewpoint. And I'll show you some of the views here in just a minute. Alright guys, look at this. This is awesome. That is quite the view from up here. Wow. Wow. Portland Women's Forum Advantage Point. Not too crowded. I think we're headed right there next. Vista House. We have arrived at Vista House, and that is the actual house right there. We'll be going inside of it or around it or something here. Let's see what we can do. All right, this is the view from the Vista House. Awesome. I know my camera does not do this justice here. Let me zoom in a little for you. Look at that. Wow. Unbelievably beautiful. This is the Vista House. We're going in. Take some pictures from up there. Inside the Vista House. Wow. It's pretty. Very well done. Marble floors. The columns. The wraparound. Very nice. 1045. This is the beginning of the Bridal Veils Falls. We are headed down this trail. It's a very short trail, and as you can see, it's a rugged trail, really. It's called a flip-flop trail where we come from, folks. All right, so the trail did get a little more steep and rough. It's going downhill right now, but that means we gotta go back up. It's beautiful so far. Pretty little spot on this bridge. Look at that. 
That's awesome. That is awesome blossom. Alright everybody, this is Battle Bell Falls right here. Awesome. I don't know how tall it is, but that's one of the biggest waterfalls we've ever seen. Very cool. Kate and Toy are taking in the sights over there. Very beautiful place we're at here right here. Awesome. So the problem with trails that go down is you have to go up. Here's the heavy breathing part. Alright guys, we made it to the Bonneville Lock and Dam. So we're going to go in and see the dam here in a minute, but I just wanted to show you that's a screw propeller off of a big boat. We're going to eat here and do a little sightseeing. As you can see over there, there's the dam. I don't know if you can see it. I'll get a little closer. All right, guys, we're at the uh, Bonneville Lock and Dams. The dam that let them spill way through. It's awesome. We're going to sit here at this picnic table and have a lunch. Actually, we may go over that one in the shade over there I just found. So, I'll catch you in a little while. I know it's man-made, but wow, that's spectacular. Can you imagine how much concrete and how much time it took to build this thing? Lunch with the Parkers. Here we are, one great vacation, having one great vacation. Look at this. You can see our view. We are down in the bottom at the, uh, this is the Fish Observatory. If you look out here, this, see these? These are lampreys stuck on the bottom. You see the shad going by? Those are shad. Thought I'd give you a picture of the lamprey. Look at those teeth. La, 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 la. Ooh, good thing they don't bite you. There's suction to the glass here. Look how many of them there are. Let me just zoom back out. Uh, it's a bunch of them in this one window. Pretty cool. So this is called the fish ladder. And the fish come up the river. They jump up these things to get to these higher elevations. see them doing it right there I don't know if you can see it on video or not but they're swimming right there beside the concrete and then you'll watch them they'll go over the concrete they're not jumping out of the water but they're jumping over the concrete blocks right there all right guys we're on top of the uh, observation platform here this is the powerhouse deck here in the background you can see we're fixing to go on a tour we're going to wrap all of this up on video so you'll get to go with us this one it says u.s army plastered on a dam of all things and they tend to vote what's the army doing here why is the army building the dam well the corps of engineers is part of the department of army and department of defense however this particular group and was also given civil works jobs in addition to its military role. Alright guys, we're fixing to start the damn tour here. So let's see how it goes. This is our group. We're headed down to meet the rest of them. It is a song together. Yep. This is the fish ladders. Another angle. Okay, we're inside the dam as you can hear. Those are the big turbines. Let me see if I can get a little perspective on this. This is one long room with these 10 turbines, large turbines that turn. She said they can produce about 900,000 houses worth of energy. And I don't remember what her number was, but like 10 gigawatts or something. My son said it was enough to go back to the future. This was built in the 30s, still running, pretty impressive. 
Okay, we now know that this is a prop for one of the turbines that they replaced. So this is one of the more inefficient 1930 version that killed 70% uh, or 30% of the fish that came through. They were replaced with the ones that only killed 2% of the fish that come through. So now we know what that is. We are at the Bonneville Fish Hatchery. Some of the beds. They got it set up on me. It's beautiful around here. White houses. Quite impressive. Look at this fountain right here. Got more beds back there in the back. We're going. This is the gift shop right here. We're going to take a tour here. See what they got. All right, we found another waterfall. That's Without crowds. Oh look, money. Oh, there are fish in there, see? I bet the fish. I bet the fish. That is one big sturgeon. What's his name? Harry? Herman. Herman. This is Herman, the oldest sturgeon in captivity or whatever. He's 70 years old. 70 years old. Where? Can you see? Yep. There's Herman. He's there on the bottom. Herman is alone. He doesn't move fast. Right? He's got big ears. That's one big fish. Sixty miles per hour. Wow. Okay, you're right. Yeah, big that guy. Found the honey hole. There's a bunch of trout. Look at all the coins in there. I know. People don't throw coins in the water. Fish eat them, kills the fish. It's just stupid. All right, that's my rant for the day. We're headed across the Bridge of the Gods. Not quite, quite like it is in the movies, but here we go. Did I mention there's copyrighted music in the background? Hi. Thank you. Thanks. This is cool. Wow. Going across the bridge of the gods. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. That is awesome. Okay guys, we made it to Stonehenge. Did y'all know that Stonehenge is in Maryville, Washington? It is today. Actually, this is a uh, veterans memorial. Alright guys, so this is the altar stone in this Stonehenge thing. It's kind of interesting never really knew how big Stonehenge was. This is supposed to be a replica of what Stonehenge would have looked like if it wasn't falling down. So uh, I'm going to keep perusing around here. This is a World War, World War I monument to the veterans of some of the people who died in World War I. I have no idea why there's a dog on the altar. It's not real. It's just a stuffed dog. I don't know what that's about. The view from Stonehenge is spectacular. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Stonehenge in Mary Hill, Washington. Aliens are coming. Very interesting. Oh, 
even if my son is going crazy. All right, guys, we are in our comfort suites. This is it. It's where we'll spend the night. Once again, we'll only be here one night. And then we'll be headed on. We got a nice couch in this one. Nice workstation. A lot more room than the last one. Nice place.